Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome back. Remember a couple of days ago I made a video reviewing GamerPay and also showing you how I buy skins on there. Well, yesterday I had a revelation about the process of buying skins on GamerPay and I wish I came up with this faster because it's so simple, right? And it has to do with the difference between depositing first or buying skins directly with your credit card. Uh, in that video I said that there is no difference between these two uh, judging fee wise because when you deposit your money they take a 2.5% as a fee but when you buy skins with that balance they give you a 2.5% discount. So technically it's the same financial wise if you deposit or you buy straight with a card. But it changes very dramatically when it comes to refunds. Remember I told you that it is freaking horrendous the fact that you have to wait for two weeks to get a refund for an item. That is pretty standard for any website that does financial transactions and so on. But in terms of skins that is too much to wait, right? Two weeks. And there is a very simple solution, right? You just deposit the money first. And if the order gets cancelled by the seller or for some other reason, then you get your balance returned immediately. You don't have to wait two weeks. I, I, I did that and I, I I just realized, wait, I can just deposit every time, right? <laughs> it is so simple. And I wish I came up with this sooner because in total I had refunded around a thousand euros worth of purchases that failed, right? 100 euros here, 30 euros there, 24 there, 61 here, 600 here had to be refunded. So... It took two weeks to get that money back. If I had just deposited that money straight to the website, I could have just gotten the refund immediately and spent the money elsewhere. So yeah, I think that is a pretty important real realization I have come to because it's gonna save me a lot of money, right? Two weeks, that would be 5% for a thousand euros, that's 50 euros that I potentially lost. So yeah, I think this is a neat little thing I can optimize my purchases on GamerPay with and if you are buying skins on GamerPay, I do recommend that you deposit first because that is safer for the situation when you need to get a refund. Also, that kind of allows you to kind of not have to screen the sellers anymore, right? Before, in that video, I told you how you can screen the sellers before buying with your credit card. But the thing is, if you're going to get the refund immediately, then there is no point in screening them. So you can just try any skin that you think might be profitable, even if the seller has been five days ago online, because um, you, they can still get an email that their item has been bought, so they might notice, right? Um, so yeah, I think this is <laughs> a really good optimization thing that uh, we can make use of. And this video is not very long, it's just about that, uh, pretty much. So yeah. If you haven't seen my entire review of GamerPay as a skins marketplace, you can see this video for a more detailed view. This video was just, just about this little thing. And also, if you're gonna create an account on GamerPay, I would appreciate it if you're gonna use my partner link down in the description, because this way you would get a 10 euro discount on your first purchase of over 15 euros, I believe. And I would also get 10 euros for that. And I don't think this promotion is forever, right? They normally only give a 4 euro discount, but since it's here, why not make use of it, basically? Well, if you want to learn more about CSGO skin trading in general or just CSGO skins, then subscribe to my channel, leave a like, and I will see you in the next video, alright? Bye-bye.